Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Hobbywing 1080 ESC, one of the greatest values in RC crawlers. And we are going to let you know our setup uh, for, for these two vehicles that are running this ESC. So what do you got here? This is the program card. And this is really cool because it allows you to change 15 parameters in the in the ESC itself. So 15, they're all here. The font is crazy small. Um, I can't read that one. <laughs> can't read this one. So the trick is you take a you take a photo of it with your phone, your iPhone. Make sure you focus. And how do you focus? You tap the screen while it's looking at the letters. Make sure it's focused. Boom. And then you put it on your phone, either on your phone or your computer. You blow it up. So here you can't blow it up, right? But on the iPhone, you can make it 20 times bigger. So I'm going to glance to my computer here, which has the, has the text. But I'll, I'll let you know um, exactly what our settings is for this ESC. So how do you program it? So what you do is you turn it off. Let's turn this off. And then you plug this wire in, the white wire should be facing, should be closest to the, the outside edge of the, of the ESC. Like that. And then you turn it on. Transmitter, I have my FlySky, $40, $37 work of art transmitter. Turn on here, and then you know your polarity is good when you see the numbers. Okay? So there's 15 items. So one is the first item, first parameter, and three is the setting. So they're all in there, if you can read them. So it's telling us that on, for setting number one, parameter number one, the value is three. So I'll look over here. One is, oh, the uh, running mode is forward break. Two is forward reverse break, and three is forward reverse. So for crawling, you want three forward reverse. You know, no no middle, no. You know, you need reverse obviously, and uh, and the second one has some has a middle dead period. You have to tap it twice for it to reverse. No need that. So one is is um, setting number three, or forward reverse, and then we go to item number two. So you just click item. So it's two one. So the battery type, lipo or nim. Obviously, you want lipo. So what does that mean? The only thing it means to the ESC, as far as you, as far as it's concerned, is whether it'll have a lipo cutoff or not. Lipo cutoff, nims you can drain all the way to zero. Lipo cutoffs, uh, lipos you have to stop when it's three volts per cell. So this this says okay, it'll shut off. Okay, and the third one is, is really only active if, if it's LiPo, is what is the cutoff voltage, voltage? Disabled, you can disable it, auto, or low, medium, and high. So we have it set to medium. So low is three volts, so you get the, the most out of, your, out of your LiPo, drain it all the way down. The uh, medium is 3.3, and I believe High is about 3.5, 3.6. So the, uh, the, our setting that we like is medium. So, uh, that way you, you get the most out of your LiPo, but you don't get close to the edge. The problem with three volts is, you know, it's too close, you know. Um, if, if, you, if you get to turn off your transmitter, your receiver for, um, for, 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 for a few minutes or an hour, or you keep running it, it's going to get to the danger zone, which is, your, your battery's gonna get puffy, so you don't wanna go there. So leave yourself some room for, for a little bit of um, mistake here and there. Here we get to the interesting stuff. Number four is initial break force. And we have it set to one. Oh, it's, sorry. Number four is initial start force. And here is the magic. We have it set, so you can go zero, 2%, 4%, 6%, and we have it set to one, zero, 
meaning start it up as slow as possible you know you know this is for crawling this is what you want you know you, you could you could gun it anyway you can you, you, you can give it all it's got if if you want but at at the at the slightest touch you know it's barely moving so this is the the most important i think parameter of this whole ESC is uh, start force number five is max forward force you know how how fast do you want it to go how much of your power do you want and obviously you want number four hundred <laughs> percent why wouldn't you oh you give it to your kid <laughs> Give it to your five-year-old, you put it at 25%. Okay, number six is max reverse force. So the standard uh, train of thought here uh, is, is 50%. That way you're not like jerking uh, on reverse. You know, uh, you're not punching rocks that are behind you. But really with a good ESC, you can control that. It's not a big deal. And so we put it at 100%. The real reason to reverse at 100% is when you're caught on your side, you know? You know how, here's a good trick. You know how you get it back upright without walking all the way over there? You point the wheels up in the air and reverse it. Punch reverse, punch reverse. You do it once, maybe five times, almost guaranteed uh, the, uh, the car's gonna turn over. So you don't have to do the walk of shame. So, and if you have it at 25%, 50% reverse, it's not gonna do it. It doesn't have the wheel spin to grab the ground and, and, and flip itself back up. So number six is four. Number seven, maximum brake force. I have it at nine hundred percent. Why not? You know, like I said, with a good ESC and transmitter, you can modulate that anyway. So don't limit yourself. Give yourself hundred percent brake force if you need it. And then if you, if it's, if you find that it, you're, you know, on a steep descent, you break and you're, you're flipping over, you're tumbling down, then, then you can, you can tune it down, but we're using a hundred percent. Number eight. So this one's interesting. In the initial brake force, when you tap it, uh, when it first enters, how much brake do you want? And you can go from zero to 50%. So what we have is 25%, you know? We don't want zero, you know, because um, when you when you, when you need a break, you need a break, right? And 50% is a little jerky, so we 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 we've gotten a happy medium uh, of of 25%, and then 25%, you, then you can go to all the way to 100%. Number nine is drag break. How much drag break do you want? Drag break is when you're when you're off the throttle, where you're in neutral. How much braking force do you want on the vehicle? So. And this is really, really cool for RC crawlers. This was different shades than RC crawler ESC from a normal ESC, which is drag brake. Meaning, you know, as, as, you're, as you're descending down, you know, you let off the throttle, it controls itself. You know, it's not gonna roll down the hill and you're not dependent on your, your finger so much. So what we have is seven, which is um, 80%, you know, happy medium again, but more on the strong side. Drag brake rate, number 10, setting is four. How much it amplifies you know, while, while it's working. So number four, happy medium again. Number 11, neutral range, we have it set to zero. Neutral range is how sensitive will it be to your transmitter throttle input. So if you have a very touchy transmitter, maybe you want to, this is how you make it less touchy. You know, you give it level five, level, level nine, but you know, this is a good transmitter fly sky so we we have it set to zero so you know it's still easy to modulate but there's no play in in the throttle button number 12 is start mode how much punch do you want and we have it at a hundred percent so you know when you gun it you know how much do you want that thing to take off so number nine means all it's got it's gonna go so this is how you get your your real speed so repeat your speaker you you punch, you punch through a rock. So we like that. If you, if it's not too sensitive for you, if you put it to number uh, one, for example, you gun it and it goes, it winds up. It's like slow, 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 and then it goes full speed. You know, over like a couple seconds. So we don't want that for a crawler. Number fourteen is really, really cool. 
it is the BEC voltage. So this, this little thing has a BEC, obviously the BEC powers the servos and they can be powered at 6 volts or 7.4 volts. So this is free money. If your servo is capable and this animal servo, that's $17 servo is 7.4 capable, you power at 7.4, you get a 20% boost in speed and torque. So why would you want that? <laughs> 7.4 for sure. And finally, number 15 is kind of complicated. It's called freewheeling. Freewheeling, we have to set to number one, which is enabled. I believe uh, the, the default is number two, the, uh, disabled. So freewheeling is similar to drag brake, where when you, drag brake only works when you're off the throttle, but you know, freewheeling is when you are, let's say you're climbing or you're descending and you, you go half throttle, you know, the freewheeling means enable, when it's enabled, the, the, the ESC will take hold of the motor, you know, kind of like a sensor type where it monitors its position more. So it doesn't, it doesn't allow it to, to, to freewheel. So it gives, it gives you more granular control of the descent. So there you go. Hope you found that useful. So when you have your settings, what you do is you hit the OK button. Boom. OK. And then you turn it off. Take the wire off. Turn it on. Really amazing, amazing part of the Hobbywing ESC. $40, and it includes this $20 piece. You don't have to use a IBM PC or, or some crazy little LED system. So here you go. Everything we programmed. And, you know, it's got, it's got all the punch, but it's, all the, it's got the, the, the slow start that we, that we want from a crawler. And our servo. Happy, cheap servo happy with the 7.4 volt ESC. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.